Hey guys, it's KJ from the Scariest Movie Ever channel on YouTube. I have a video here I wanted to make for you and it has to do with the Hoover Dam. Now oftentimes here on my channel I, I tend to look at us all as a community of investigators picking up pieces to the bigger puzzle that is this rigged reality, if you will. What you're looking at right here is the YouTube search engine and I just put in Illuminati Hoover Dam and with that you can scroll down and you'll see that there's a lot of people who have been covering the Hoover Dam now for several years. I personally was first made aware of something interesting going on at the Hoover Dam, something occult going on at the Hoover Dam several years ago through a researcher named Jonathan Kleck. I followed Jonathan's work for a long time. He's one of those guys I've been sub to for years, just like the Groxts. I, I think all of us kind of came around around the same time I guess you could say so I've always kind of watched these guys work and really appreciated it and even with that I see a lot of really negative talk out there about the Groxt and Jonathan and even myself and I understand that you know I'll just say this try to look beyond the messenger please if you don't like Jonathan or Groxt or me for whatever reasons that's okay I don't think any of us are really looking for you to like us what we really want you to do is to look at the information, and that's what's important. Look at it for yourself, and you decide. I'll leave some links below to some of Jonathan's work because he not only found the Hoover Dam in American money, the destruction of the Hoover Dam in American money, found a lot of other things as well. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the whole money mystery thing that's out there, right? Where you can find 9-11 and different events on the money. But Jonathan Clex covered all that and more on the money. And it's important to understand because essentially what you're looking at is a spell. The New World Order, the Devil's Hands, if you will, the Illuminati, whatever term you want to put on it, these people put their plans on paper and they called it money. So while people are out there just blindly spending money and not really thinking about it, they don't even realize that what they're holding in their hands are the keys to the end of time, or the keys to many of these false flag events that have led us into and are leading us into ultimately a one world system, a new world order, an antichrist system. And I've talked about this in other videos as well. Some people just simply discount this stuff without looking any deeper. The fact remains that we're dealing with Satanists on the highest level of that pyramid. We're dealing with very high level witches and warlocks. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but this is the world they deal in because whether you believe in it or not, they do, and they're playing these spells out on us. So there's a lot of people out here who are awake, who are able to decipher this stuff, and this is what they're doing. So once again, I'll leave a link below for the money mysteries, but you're going to find all kinds of things in the money that relate to the New World Order, and ultimately to the Antichrist One World System to come. And it's not just the false flag attacks and the New World Order type plans that play out in the money. As I said, these are money mysteries. These are witches and warlocks, essentially, we're dealing with. This is witchcraft that we're delving into and trying to understand and get a better grasp of what it is they're planning. So once again, if you're not familiar with this, just do a little search online for Illuminati symbolism money or New World Order money, anything like that, and you'll find hours and hours and hours of wonderful investigations and breakdowns of all the unusual occult symbolic meanings hidden on your money right in front of your face. And this is why during the 9-11 event, even the major news stations were running these stories about strange faces appearing in a lot of the smoke and the explosions. In fact, my very own movie I made about eight years ago now called The Scariest Movie Ever Made opens up with this shot right here as, as the smoke is forming and we see this truly demonic face push out of it. And once again, if you've never seen this, go online and look it up. You can see this footage play out in real time. It's pretty wild stuff. And the reason why these things manifested during this event, once again, is because this was a ritual. This was a huge ritual, 9-11 was. And from 9-11 was born the beginnings and the seeds of this police state that we're in now and the coming martial law and the coming New World Order. 9-11 was, as far as I'm concerned, the real beginning of the birth of the New World Order. This was the real beginning of it. This is putting the seeds in place. This was building homeland security. This is building the grid. This is putting us into FEMA regions. All these things came out of 
Hoover Dam itself is filled with occult symbolism all around it, all throughout it. Tons of occult symbolism. Even right here you see the Twin Towers, right? We see the Twin Towers represented on both sides. And of course right here we have the Fallen Angels represented at the Hoover Dam. And Baphomet, the Goat God, even shows up at Hoover Dam. We have this symbolism right here as well. So as I said, there is tons of occult symbolism all around the Hoover Dam, and you can find a lot of different research on this. So please go uh, do a little research on this and you'll see it for yourself. Sometimes it's easier to really take this stuff in and understand what it is and grasp it by seeing it for yourself and doing your own research as opposed to having someone tell you. The Hoover Dam is just one more example of uh, that beast system. You know, a lot of these things have been put into place many, many years ago for the big event for what's coming in the future. Now I'm not trying to show you this stuff to scare you or freak you out. I'm showing you this stuff because I think it's very important to understand these things. If you live in this area, then I could imagine you being a little bit concerned. But in my research on all this, and I've seen a lot of other people point this out, I want to share this with you because I think it's pretty interesting. But many people have found connections to the Hoover Dam in the Bible itself. That this whole thing is prophetic. So let me share a few things with you here and you kind of decide for yourself on this one. But I think it's very interesting. This right here is from Revelation 12 chapters 14 through 17. And in this first verse when it speaks of the woman, it's talking about the bloodline of Adam, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It says, But the woman was given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness to her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the presence of the serpent. So noting there that the woman represents the bride of Jesus Christ, who is taken away to a place of safety for the duration of the great tribulation, or a times and a half a time, or three and a half years. Verse 15 says, So the serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. That's pretty interesting. I mean, essentially telling you that you know the flood is coming for the woman, for the bride, right? So then in verse 16 it says, But the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of its mouth. So I read that as the earth helping the woman by opening its mouth to swallow up the flood. So apparently this false flag attack will occur, but at the same time there's going to be an opening in the earth that lessens the destruction of the flood. And then we have verse 17. It says, And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring, who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So right here we see the dragon going to war with the rest of her offspring. These are those who are, quote, left behind, would be my understanding, after the rescue of the bride. These would be what some may call the tribulation saints, or the martyrs of Revelation. Which brings me to the point of this video. Why is a giant FC Cone logo projected on the Hoover Dam? That's the logo for a soccer team out of Germany. And even here you got people asking, no idea why the FC Köln logo was projected onto the Hoover Dam this week, but it looks amazing. Nobody knows why this happened. In researching the story, the officials say that they were doing this to test out a new lighting system they had. So for whatever reason, they chose this random soccer club from Germany to put their logo up on the Hoover Dam for a week to test the lighting system. This is where your critical thinking comes in, where your common sense comes in, your logic, your reason, and, and most importantly for me at least, the Holy Spirit that spiritually discerns these things. Can you not see it? And can you not see what I see? I'm sure you do. Connecting these dots, isn't it interesting that we have, once again, the goat? We have the Baphomet goat 
on the Hoover Dam. We also have the red, black, and white color coding. I've done a lot of videos on that as well. It's a very traditional satanic color code, if you will, that started with the satanic church in San Francisco. But we see these same colors associated with all kinds of so-called Illuminati artists where they're performing all their little rituals and they're flashing all their signs, usually surrounded with the red, black, and white. So we have that connection there as well. We also have another confirmation in the Twin Towers. If you can see there in the logo, in the circle, there's the Twin Towers. Now these Twin Towers here, obviously they're not the ones from New York, but it is definitely symbolic for that. They're some kind of a landmark in Cologne, Germany, I believe. Something associated with the soccer club. But once again, we find multiple meanings with symbolism, don't we? So here we have the Twin Towers represented, which I believe was the official beginning, the setting off of what's to come, this new world order. They've been putting it in place. They needed that event to really start it all up. We have the red, black, and white color coding, and we have the goat. And it's interesting, one more thing to note, and this is just kind of on the side, if you look into the on the side of the goat, and they do this a lot too, if you look on the side of the goat, kind of that big white patch there, right there in the center, if you look at that, you see the dot. To me, that looks like an eye. It's actually a profile, a right side of a face, of a horned demonic type face or figure. Now, if I'd never seen anything like that before, I would just think it was nothing. It was just the design, but I've seen this pop up in other designs like this as well. So here we have the Baphomet, here we have the Goat God, here we have just another representation of the devil itself. You've seen this played out in so many movies in the past. There'll be a devil type figure in human form, and somebody will ask, hey, what's your name? And it's always the same answer. I go by many names. Because it does. This is just once again a representation of that energy, of the devil itself. What's interesting in this picture, as it is with most of these occult type pictures and images, there's usually a lot more going on in the picture itself than what we first see. If you look at his lap, right, look in the lap area, specifically what would be considered kind of his left knee, it'll be on your right side looking at it there. See how that looks like a little eye right there in the profile of a face, the right side? Many people believe it is. So many people have actually pointed out that that whole symbol right there, that whole image, which is supposed to be his lap, is actually a sheep, a dead sheep with its legs bound. Now here's another classic one and this one right here is on Obama and this is one of those real famous pictures they used but I want you to take a look at this. And you can probably see this now but whenever you flip that image upside down of Obama, the one I was just showing you, and you look kinda right in here and then there you can see this other little thing right this little horned creature right here it's two eyes mouth red little horned creature right there on the side of his face so there we have it guys and you know as far as i'm concerned it couldn't be any more clear you know, we're finding all these connections and very interesting occult imagery and all this all around the hoover dam so please take this information and if there's things in this that you're a little gray on and you're not really so sure do the research yourself because as I keep saying in all my videos time and time again, the veil is lifting. The veil is lifting on things like this. A lot of people are becoming awake and aware of this kind of thing, this spiritual language, and they're exposing this stuff. And this is exactly what we're supposed to be doing right now. This also goes back to my own thing with my videos, you know. A lot of people I feel like want me to be more religious or want me to preach more and want me to do this. I never promoted my channel as a religious channel. That's not what I do. I'm a person on my own, not a part of a clique, a club, or a group, nothing like that. I'm just KJ, and I believe in God, and I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior many, many years ago. And now, and now I'm beginning to see all this stuff spiritually manifest in our reality. I've been seeing it for almost 10 years now, and I know I'm not alone in that. So I'm not telling you to go get religious or, you know, start going to a building or something, a church, and giving them money or whatever. You know, I'm not, that's not what I'm telling you to do. I'm hoping that this stuff opens up your spiritual eyes so that you can understand the times we're in and what's going on. And it's my personal belief that Jesus Christ is the key out of all of this. I'll leave you with that. 
Well, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Once again, stay aware, stay awake, watch this stuff, inform others. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.